Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William are attending the official naming ceremony of a ship thousands of Britons wanted to be bestowed the name of Bodium Cbo 8 Face. Kate and Prince William headed to Birkenhead yesterday to attend the naming ceremony for the new British Polar Research Ship. The boat will officially be known as RSS Sir David Attenborough after the Duchess of Cambridge smash a bottle of champagne on the ship's hull. However, more than 124,000 people who took part in a public poll asking which name should the vessel receive may be saddened by this news, as they voted to give the vessel a less traditional name, Bodium Cbo 8 Face. Social media users have already voiced their disappointment over the veto on the name decided by voters. One wrote, the Sir David Attenborough is officially named today. The advisory public vote to call it Bodium Cbo 8 Face was ignored because it was deemed a stupid idea that would make the UK look foolish. Another said, the Royal Research Ship Bodium Cbo 8 Face has more prosaically named the Sir David Attenborough. OK, I guess. But may. And a third said, I'm still mad that they didn't keep the ship named Bodium Cbo 8 Face. Others agreed with the decision of giving the research vessel a more traditional name. One social media user wrote on Twitter, There was never even the slightest chance that this new boat would be called Boating Cabo 8 Face because it was all a little bit silly and I don't think they expected people to put forward silly names like that. Kate, as the ship's sponsor, is the protagonist of this naming ceremony, a tradition dating back hundreds of years, while Prince William will look on in the company of the BBC's legendary broadcaster, Sir Attenborough. Gate and William were all smiles when they arrived at Cam Laird shipyard, and took the time to chat briefly to royal well-wishers waiting for them under a cloudy sky. Gate wore for the occasion an elegant blue coat accessorized with high heels and her signature handbag. RRS Sir David Attenborough is owned by the Natural Environment Research Council NERC, and operated by the British Antarctic Survey BAS. The vessel will allow scientists to carry out research in Antarctica and the Arctic for the next 30 years. But, while it is still at Cam Laird, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will have the chance to tour it and meet a team of engineers involved in its construction. Later today, Kate and William will visit, in the company of Sir Attenborough, the fly deck to meet scientists who will demonstrate how state-of-the-art equipment is used to carry out research whilst at sea. They will then meet schoolchildren involved in BOSS's Polar Explorer program, which encourages and supports schools to enrich their teaching of science, technology, engineering and maths STEM, subjects by educating pupils about polar science and the ship's future expeditions. Kate Middleton knows what she likes. The Duchess of Cambridge wore one of her favorite pieces to an event in Birkenhead, England on Thursday. The Royal Donna Blue Alexander McQueen coat dress for the naming ceremony of the UK's new polar research ship, the RRS Sir David Attenborough. The mother of three attended the event with her husband Prince William. The two took a tour of the ship with Sir David Attenborough and children from the British Antarctic Survey's Polar Explorer program to learn more about the science behind the research. The Duke of Cambridge also gave a short speech. If Kate's outfit looks familiar, it's because she's worn the beloved piece a few times. As royal admirers will recall, the Duchess wore the ensemble to the 75th anniversary of the RAF Air Cadets in 2016. She also wore the coat to a wreath laying service at a war memorial in New Zealand back in 2014. Actually, Kate is a fan of the fashion house in general and has worn a number of its pieces over the years. Even her wedding dress was designed by the brand's creative director Sarah Burton. This wasn't the first time Kate has given her fans a fashion flashback. To look back at a few other recycled looks, check out the gallery above. It certainly is a busy time for the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are currently on a royal tour of Africa. William and Kate are expected to visit Pakistan this fall. Kay chose one of her most tried-and-true coats for today's event, a pale blue style by Alexander McQueen, which she has worn several times in the past. Today, she paired the look with an Asprey clutch, navy heels, and diamond earrings. Get all of the details on her outfit right here. Originally, 
When the public voted on the name of this vessel, the people chose Bodim Kbo 8 Face, but in the end, another name was selected, one that honors the environmentalist and broadcaster Sir David Attenborough. Prince William even alluded to the ship's potential name in his remarks today. It is my immense privilege and relief to welcome Sir David Attenborough, rather than Bodim Kbo 8 Face, to speak. But Bodim Kbo 8 Face hasn't entirely been forgotten though. A yellow submarine on the RSS Sir David Attenborough will bear the name. The ship has captured the imaginations of millions, which is why we're ensuring that the Bodhi name lives on through the subsea vehicle that will support the research group, and the polar science education program that will bring their work to life," said Science Minister Joe Johnson in 2016. It gives me great pleasure to name this ship Sir David Attenborough, and may God bless her and all those who sail in her, Cape said christening the boat.